Hey there, I'm going to talk about the different parts of the paddle. Um, and looking at a paddleboard paddle, this is a blade right here. This is the power face. This is the part we paddle with. This is the back side of the paddle. If you notice for the power face, there's an offset angle here. Let's call it a canter. And that's usually a 10 to 13 degree offset angle. And you know this is a power face because in, in many cases a power face has a curve to it or a scoop or like a spoon and that makes more sense that when you put that through the water that's going to grab the water versus the back side of the paddle which we see a lot of people paddling with. So if you want to determine the back side or the front side of the paddle, uh, the power face is usually a smooth face, usually with a curve or a scoop. The back side of the paddle usually has reinforcement like this which helps keep the shaft from breaking. So if I'm using my power face properly, at the catch, which is where the blade goes in the water at the beginning of the forward stroke. I have a little extra reach up there, and you can see the scoop of the paddle moving forward through the water and at my exit, where I take the blade out, it's going to have a vertical profile there. And I take it out and into my feather, into a nice back to the catch again. If this was backwards, I would have a shorter reach at my catch, and I may exit the, the the power face is actually backwards and it would actually lift water and scoop water out for my exit and then my feather would be upside down here like that. So this is the wrong way to do it with the power face backwards. This is the right way to do it with the power face facing me and also a more uh, cleaner exit out of the water. So power face, the canter angle, the backside. We will use the backside for paddling backwards and also the, the reverse sweep turn. Um, different parts of the power face. This is the, the, some paddles have a raised section here in the middle that's called the dihedral, and that cuts down on fluttering through the water. Instead, you get a nice clean sweep through the water. Some paddles tend to flutter, um, and so in that case, a dihedral like that will give you a nice clean uh, pull through the water which is better on your shoulders and your arms and your hands and just simply more efficient. I also have a sticker on the paddle with my information on it, my phone number and whatnot. Um, you probably don't have a sticker, so I'll just get a permanent pen and write your, always write your name and your, and your phone number and all your gear, your boards, etc. It's very commonly that things can either be stolen or you just leave it somewhere. Um, so that's a great deal to have there. Um, and also this blade it has a very straight shape to it. Um, some blades, such as this one here, have what's called a teardrop shape to it, like that. The teardrop shape is rounder, uh, looks more, more organic looking, but in truth, uh, a lot of teardrop shapes are, are too big, and as a result will put pressure on your shoulder. And then you might also hit your board as, as, as a result. It's a personal choice for me personally. Um, I've always preferred this more straighter shape and a little bit more of a narrower blade which means less torque on my shoulders, less pain up, up, up my arms, um, and, and in many cases a more efficient stroke. Um, and then also for, this is the throat and neck here. This is the shaft here, T-grip or handle down here. One thing to look at is some handles feel different from others, so try, try it out. See, when you look at, uh, uh, look, look at a paddle, uh, try different handles to see what feels right for you. Uh, I like this one myself. Some people like the more spongy, near, pre, uh, kind of softer feel that Quick Blade has. Um, so, and, and some rental paddles have very uncomfortable paddles, so that's something to think about. Um, and also with the shaft here, this is a round shaft. Some people like an oval shaft. If you look at how your hand clinches around something, you might want to prefer more oval shaft. That, that might feel more comfortable, more natural. Some people have, you know, like the, like the round shaft, it uh, really comes down to what works for you. Um, and then also I have tape on the paddle here. Um, and basically if I paddle at night and drop my paddle, I can find it, but if it's black like this, this is carbon, which is black. Um, and, and or if I put my paddle in a shady area like over here, and it's very common that, my, that I might drive away and not, not notice the paddle there. So white or a very bright color like yellow or orange or something would be nice to stand up for something like that. Um, I also have reflective tape, tape down here uh, for long distance touring in open water dealing with boats. And I also have reflective tape on the back of the, the blade here as well. Now, I have it on the back of the blade versus the front. So when I'm paddling, 
the ref uh, light reflecting off the blade won't, won't reflect back in my face.